recording. All right, it says that we are live on Facebook now. Just double checking, there's a little bit of a lag, so I'm waiting to see that we are live on Facebook. Welcome to any of you joining us live for prayer. We have a few on our prayer list already, and we're going to start with some of those. If, however, you are wanting prayer, then I ask you to please just leave your location in the comments section and we will pray for you. This is prophetic intercession. All right. Um, I'm just double checking if we're streaming live. We'll get that up and running in a moment. There's a little bit of a lag and a delay, but I'm taking authority over this broadcast in the name of Jesus speaking. Yeah, we're speaking, Jill, to any gremlins on the airwaves. Uh, uh, Satan is the prince of the power of the air. And so I just take authority over any interruption that he might be bringing to stop people from being healed, set free, delivered um, and, and receiving prayer during this time. I welcome uh, my intercessors. Um, Jill and uh, my mum Susan, also intercessor admin, records, um, goes through and and checks all of your stuff. So <laughs> she's um, she's the one that reads the emails and makes sure that I get the information that I need. All right, it looks like we are live and everything is okay. So we're going to get right into it. We're doing forty five minutes today. I have to limit it. We can't do the full hour today. So if you don't want to miss out on the live prayer, then please by all means means um, get in and leave your comment. We're going to start today um, by praying for um, um, my friend and ministry partner, Mandy Woodhouse. Mandy Woodhouse runs a ministry, Outrageous Hope. Uh, I might actually link, uh, sorry, Mandy, I will link your details later on if people want to find you. Lots of people are finding her right now. Um, her ministry is really taking off. However, Mandy... Oh. Andy, like the rest of us whose ministries are expanding and who carries a mantle, uh, uh, there's this, it, it's a significant mantle she carries. She's a prophet. She's a teacher. Uh, she's an evangelist. She's a very powerful woman. Really? Uh, but she really does need right now prayers of encouragement and support and strength for her to keep going as God grows her ministry. And so Mandy, I'm speaking into you now. I'm just releasing the strength, be strengthened with might in your inner man, according to Ephesians 3.16. And I'm speaking right now into, I, I see your Aaron and your her standing um, uh, up on the mountain, helping you lift up that rod of power as the Amalekites are fighting the Israelites in the Valley of Rephidim. That's the place of rest. And so I hear the Lord beckoning you into deeper levels of rest, deeper levels of rest. Spirit of counsel, I ask you to come right now to Mandy in the name of Jesus and give her counsel. Spirit of wisdom, come right now, give her wisdom, give her the, ver the clarity to see what to say no to and what to say yes to. Mandy, uh, just because it's good does not mean it's God. And so I, I just release over you that spirit of wisdom, spirit of might, spirit of counsel uh, for you to see what's good, what's, go what's good, what's God to say yes and where to say no. And I release you from the burden and the false responsibility of people in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak a refreshing of your spirit. I speak the Ruach, the breath of God in your lungs afresh, in your lungs afresh. And, and the language that the Lord is giving you is to say, I'm at capacity. No to this. Yes to this. Lord, what's my capacity? I feel he's increasing your capacity, Mandy, in the name of Jesus, but he wants you to steward what you have right now and learn where to say no and where to just try, just rest in God. And I'm praying for your Aaron and her. They are both leaders in the body of Christ praying for you. One of them is me. I'll, I'll be your Aaron. Um, another is your her, which is just, you know, everyday people, and I'm not trying to say Aaron or her is better. Please, please don't hear what I'm not saying. People, I'm just saying that they they lay people. They're not they're not uh, people who are uh, leaders or in ministry, who also are there to support you in prayer. And I just I just come I just call them in in the name of Jesus. I just call those in those leaders in ministry that are supporting your arms and those those uh, those everyday lay people that are supporting 
in your arms, lifting you up in prayer, lifting you up so the rod of power can be raised because great power is going out of your mouth and out of your fingers, Mandy, as you type those blogs. In the name of Jesus, power is being released. Power is being released. And you are doing this, I declare and decree from a place of rest. And I just break that spirit of urgency off you in the name of Jesus. I break off false responsibility. I break off heaviness. I just speak over you. The joy of the Lord is your strength. In Jesus' mighty name, Mandy, just release that in Jesus' name. Does anyone have anything else for Mandy? Go for it. Bless you. Yes, actually, I do. Um, Mandy, as soon as Naomi asked for prayer for you, I saw a dark forest uh, with a uh, dark blue sky. And my sense from the Lord was as you walk through this forest, <clears throat> don't look on it as a burden or as a time of darkness. Look up and see the beauty around you in the forest. And the beauty, I don't know anyone else, but for me, uh, nature always brings refreshing and helps me overcome stress. And the Lord's saying, in this dark forest, look up, look how beautiful the moon sh shines on the leaves and on the outline of the trees. And you will find a, a release and, a, and a, an energy from this. Amen. Amen. All right. We're just, um, hey, man. Um, sorry, Mum, were you still going? I didn't cut you off. No, no, I'm, I'm finished. Sorry. Oh, uh, Jill, did you have to stop? Can I pray? Yes. Yes. Off you go. Lord Jesus, I just thank you for Mandy and for casting, Lord Jesus, and for the mantles that you've got on both these people. And Lord, I just know that Mandy was born for such a time as this. Oh, yeah. It hasn't just happened. She, you have been training her over a, a long time, Lord Jesus. And I just pray that she will recognize and hear your wisdom of what to do and when to do it and what not to do and when to say yes and when to say no. And that Jesus has got your back. You have been trained for this, Mandy. Yeah. And I know that, that just hang in there because God's leading you. Thank You're you. such, such a precious gem. You're such a precious gem. Thank you, Lord. I Amen. Know. Hallelujah. I'm just saying a hello to Amanda Jane, tuning in from her lunch break, sending you love. We will be talking soon, girl. There's more collaboration for us. All right, before we move to the next on our list, let's address those who are um, tuning in. Mickey, if you're still here, Mickey is also in my Overcoming Fear course. Um, so you girls are going to get to know her better. She is in Culborough Beach in New South Wales. She's asked us to pray for her health. She had a virus three months ago. Um, she still has a tight chest, no energy, struggling with basic chronic fatigue, things, symptoms, sore throat, and it keeps coming back. She just had a third COVID test. So there's basically the COVID keeps coming back negative. Whoa, I feel this is an assignment on you, Mickey. Whoa, I want to yeah. break this in the name of Jesus. All right, I'm feeling some righteous indignation. Let's go after this. And then ladies, as you feel led, let's pray for Mickey. She's a precious daughter. We're not going to tolerate this assignment on the enemy from the enemy. We came against this last week and then I did a Friday um, live with Steph, Steph Golby from Stephanie Golby Ministries. She had discerned the same thing. And remember last week we had all these people with chest and lung issues and COVID and for some of them. And I do believe it is, it is an anti-anointing spirit and it is, an, it is an attack of Python. Python is a very sneaky spirit. So Mickey, right now in the name of Jesus, I just ask you to break any agreement with um so i'm just asking holy spirit come holy spirit come the holy spirit is going to give you a lie that you have that uh you might have agreed with i think it's something about the fact that you can't break the stronghold of fear that or anxiety that you can't I, I feel that's a lie you just need to say lord that's a lie repent of that lie i renounce that lie just do that now right now in the name of jesus yep you're exhausted mickey i know how it feels chick i've been battling chronic fatigue for years I know exactly how it feels. So just, break, I, I feel that's what you need to break your agreement with, that you can't overcome fear and anxiety, that it's like it's like a, a friend that you, you, you know, sort of clings on, it's like a cling on. So break, break and renounce that lie in the name of Jesus. All right. Now, in Jesus' mighty name, I take authority. I see you, spirit of Python. You cannot hide. 
you anti-anointing spirit, you spirit that's trying to break, uh, to take the life and squeeze the life and the breath of breath and the Ruach of God out of this daughter of Zion. I command you off in the name of Jesus, you and all your friends. We bind the strong man and we command you to go right now and take all of your gang with you in Jesus' name. Loose her and let her go. Loose her. We just release blessing over your lungs and over your immune system, Mickey, in the mighty name of Jesus. Just breathe in afresh the Ruach, the fresh, the breath of God. Receive that afresh. Inflammation, go in the body right now in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. I come against that Amalekite spirit of robbery that has come to rob you and steal from your um, not just the anointing but your energy in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus you have been seen you have been found and because you're a thief you have now been caught and must repay a minimum of sevenfold and I decree sevenfold blessings upon you Mickey in the mighty name of Jesus it's coming to you this spirit that has come at these spirits that have come at you one way shall flee from you seven in Jesus mighty name hallelujah all right. Okay. Okay. Let's let's move on. I'm just going the next one in the list because uh, so uh, Paul from listening in from Delhi in India. Does anyone have a word for Paul from Delhi in India? Just as you go, I'm just I'm just looking to see. Uh, I, I'm trying to keep up with the comments, folks. Thank you for for tuning in. Thank you for engaging. Um, so yeah, the next one will be, um, okay. We do have another one from India after that. And we have one from Maria and, uh, um, pastor Marco usually tunes in. We will get to you guys. Please stay on the line. Uh, please stay on the line. We will get to you, but we will start with Paul, Paul Dowd from Delhi in India. Has anyone got a word for him? Should I Paul, um, I feel the Lord's telling you to look around you with a discerning eye because the answer to uh, many of your questions is actually within your reach so look around you and see what the Lord is saying to you in the circumstances you are in right now yep amen and I have um uh, basically that just confirms what the Lord's given me for you. We're trying to go through this as quickly as possible. So we get as many people as we can. Psalm 98 verse seven says, let the sea roar and all its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. So you're in a storm right now, um, um, Paul, you're, you're, there's, there's so much going on around you, but the Lord's saying, let it happen. Let the sea roar. What is it against you? Oh man of God. Okay. Oh child of God. The spirit of God within you can speak to the storm and you can speak to it. And you can command it to be still. So let it roar, but let your praise be louder in this season. Just lift up a sound of praise in the mighty name of Jesus. I just break off all fear from you in Jesus name. And I speak peace in abundance in Jesus mighty name. Okay. I'm losing comments here. I'm going to have to go back. All right. Hold up, Paul. I hold up Paul, Lord Jesus, and I just pray over him, Lord, that you'll take blinkers off his eyes, Lord, that the solution to his problems is in front of him, Lord Jesus, and he's just not seeing them. And I just really pray, Lord, that you'll give him eyesight to see, Lord, the spiritual as well as the, the physical, Lord Jesus. And I just thank you for the, the, the reward that will come to him, for being obedient to your word. And I thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right. Um, let's pray for Maria. Maria is um, here in, in Brisbane. Uh, she's asked for prayer for her 18-year-old who is soon to give birth. Oh, wow. <laughs> Maria, you're about to become a grandma. That's exciting. Um, and also her 20-year-old who is in a relationship with an unsaved young man and con she's considering marrying this man. Now, she's obviously raised both of them in the church, in a solid church community. I've known Maria for a number of years. She's a solid woman of faith. She's very concerned for their special, for their spiritual future. Can we lift up Maria in Jesus' name? A word of encouragement. 
I too uh, raised all of my children uh, in the church, um, in the Word of God. It was we we lived and breathed it, and yet when they got to be teenagers, not one but all four of them, including me, <laughs> including Naomi, all four of them wandered uh, in places which I would have wished they hadn't gone, and I found it very discouraging I questioned myself what did I do wrong what did, how, did you know where did I not show a good example etc etc and also I did have a word or two with the Lord about uh, raise up a child in the way he should go and when he's old he will not depart from it and I kept reminding the Lord I wasn't seeing it but uh, I'm, I'm happy to tell you you can see Naomi has moved into her calling uh, my youngest son uh, is moving more and more in his gifts and my oldest son who still proclaims that he does not believe in God when he came home for his visit to just very recently from the USA he allowed his sister his brother and myself to pray for him and his son and I can see a softening in his heart I have waited 20 years 20 years for that so please just hold on to everything you've prayed over your children and stand firm in the faith okay stand firm because they they are children of the living God and the enemy will not will not destroy them man hallelujah I've got a I've got two scriptures can I just put just uh, Jill hold that thought for a moment Katie Please hold the line. We will definitely pray for you. Okay, we're definitely going to be praying for you. Go ahead, Jill. Well, Isaiah 49, 17 in the New English translation is soon. Your descendants will come back to you yeah. and all who are trying to destroy you will go away. Look Amen. around you and see all your children will come back to you. And surely as I live, as surely as I live, says the Lord, they will be like jewels of bridal ornaments for you to display. And then Isaiah 49, 25 is, but the Lord says the captive of the warrior will be released. The plunder of the tyrant will be retrieved. I will fight those who fight you and I will save your children. There's power in that. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And Maria, I already sent you Isaiah 54, 13 last night, I think. All your children shall be taught by the Lord and great shall be the peace of your children in the mighty name of Jesus. Every word spoken over them. We thank you, Lord. Your word does not return to you void, that it, it goes out with power. It goes out with purpose and it comes back accomplishing the, the, the purpose for which it was sent in Jesus' mighty name. And we decree and stand in faith with Maria for her daughters and any yes. in-laws or whoever comes into the family. In the name of Jesus, we decree in faith that there is no plan of the enemy that he can lay down that will derail the destiny of Maria's daughters that has been laid down since the foundation of the earth in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that you are the God of the, I hear the God of the gaps. He's the God of the gaps, like where, where things need to be filled in, where we're like, I don't know how we get from here to here. He's the God of the gaps. Wherever the enemy tries to muck up the rail system and send the cart flying in that direction, he is there to, to, to actually put things back on track. And I also hear him saying he is redeeming time. Maria, what you have sowed faithfully as a praying mother, you will not be, uh, you will, you will not, you will actually see the goodness of God in the land of the living right here. Now you will see the fruit of those prayers, the fruit of your mouth, stay in faith, keep giving those things to God, keep passing over those feelings in the mighty name of Jesus, and he will strengthen you. Be strengthened right now in Jesus' mighty name. Pastor Marco, we have prayed for you before. If you want to hold the line, we'll get to you, but we do need to get to some more pressing prayer requests of, of people who don't normally tune in. We, I'm sorry, folks, we just have to prioritize who's here. And I really feel we need to pray for Katie Bacon. Now, Katie is a past student of mine. I haven't seen her for a number of years. Uh, definitely have lots of love and affection for this girl. She's obviously now an adult. She has said she's been battling in a deep depression for a while now and a lack of joy and she'd love 
prayer. So can we please lift up Katie? She's in Brisbane. Wow. I see, Katie, I just, that um, in the Bible, it says, put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Yeah. You need, I feel if you um, put on your praise music and worship movies yeah. and, and allow the spirit to just to flood your soul with peace and to lift this, this depression off you now. I break this depression in the name of Jesus. I come before you now and I say to you, Satan, you have no rights. You have no rights whatsoever. And I say, remove yourself from this lady's mind now in Jesus' name. And we claim joy. Joy, 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 deep joy that comes from the heart, Lord Jesus, and, out and just to, to saturate her soul in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I hear the Lord saying, Katie, um, it's from John 12, uh, um, verse 15, when Jesus was doing his triumphal entry into Jerusalem on the donkey, but it was quoted from, from the, um, it's actually quoted from Isaiah and Zechariah. And I hear the Lord saying this to you right now. Fear not, daughter of Zion. Behold, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. <laughs> Which means your answer is coming in an unexpected way, not how you, you thought it was going to look like. And I, I absolutely agree and partner in prayer with Jill and with my mum, Susan, and everyone else here on this broadcast is partner in prayer and break off that heaviness in the name of Jesus. The sound of praise in your mouth is going to be your weapon. And hey, you used to be in my class, so you used to know I did random things like breaking into song. I'm going to sing this over you right now, and this is a song you can get. Look it up. It's called Prophesy by Planet Shakers. This is going to shift, of it, shift what's happening right now. Now, um, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, um, Holy Spirit, help me remember the, the words of the song. Okay. The word of the Lord in my mouth will bring about the change. Full of your power, I step out, declare aloud your praise. I prophesy. I prophesy. And you got to look this up because it's so much better than my singing. Let's go into the the, 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 the bridge says, I praise you like I've never known defeat. I praise you because your spirit lives in me. I praise you. Your power rests on me. Yes. I praise you now for every victory. I praise you because your spirit lives in me. I praise you. Your power rests on me. So just receive in the name of Jesus the power to overcome. In the name of Jesus, break into song. Katie, you can sing. I know you can sing. Just lift it. Let your heart sing to him right now. Just lift up a sound of praise. We just break that off you in Jesus' name. He's shifting you into a new season, Katie. There is a new season for you right now. That's why you've been battling this. The devil is afraid of you. Katie, from what I've known of you since you were a teenage girl, you have a gift of joy. In wow. fact, when I first saw the comment, I was a little surprised. I shouldn't be because I know how the enemy works. I was surprised because you have an absolute gift of joy. Do not let the enemy steal your joy in this season. You also, I don't know what you're doing right now, Katie, but I see ministry on you. I see a mantle of of, of just breaking bondages off people and setting the captives free. And so you receive now the power to overcome because as you go and you break through this, I prophesy over you in your destiny that you have the power to set a whole bunch of people free. And there are a whole lot of people's... Um, freedom that is on the other side of your obedience right now, Katie, your obedience to just get down in the secret place and hand your burdens to him, lift up your sound of praise. I actually feel to, for you to actually write, I, I don't know if you've written songs in the past. I think you have. I know you've collaborated with people. I can't remember. I'm trusting Holy Spirit. 
pick up that pen and write again, Katie, pick up that pen and write it, write it down because it's, it's actually something the Lord wants to use to set people free in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. All right. Um, we are moving along. Mum, is there anyone on our, our list? Um, Susan, if you're still on, we will pray for you in a moment for the arthritis. Um, yes, Naomi, uh, I know we haven't got time for all the people on our list. Yep. But there's a beautiful lady called Shirley Hudson. Yep. I'm not sure where she's from. Now, Shirley is, uh, she's made a point to let us know she's a 71-year-old widow, still oh. wanting God's destiny on her life. She ha has fallen on hard times and is living with her, her one of uh, a son and their family because she can't afford to live on her own. These are her words. She's asked uh, if you uh, could hear anything specifically from the Father for her. Um, I, she lay heavy on my heart when I was reading this this morning. Shirley, uh, Jill and I are, are not far behind you. Mm. I will be 70 in January. And can I say that I felt for many years I had some I went through a rough time for a good 10 years and felt like I was you know God had left me behind or sidelined me he hadn't but there were things I had to learn uh, that I wouldn't have learned if things were going too smoothly in my life and I feel that the Lord has got many years of ministry for both myself and Jill and another beautiful lady, Sheila, who can't be with us today. Yeah. And I felt like the Lord wanted me to tell you that so that you don't see 71 as a burden. Remember, Man. we can claim a long life. 71 is very young in, this, in, in the natural these days. Many people live into their 90s. So you've got lots of years with plenty of work ahead of you. Amen. Hallelujah. And I just, I just heard, I heard this resound from heaven for you, Shirley. Oh, in the name of Jesus. I don't know if you, there's a pain. I'm just sensing a pain right here in my head. Uh, I don't know if it's for you, Shirley, or someone listening. There's a pain here. I don't know whether it represents um, a, a tumor or a growth or just um, an attack of the enemy on that part of the mind. I just rebuke that in the name of Jesus and command it off. I just bless the body of that person in Jesus. name. If that's you, just drop it in the comments and let us know. It was right here, right here in my head. I believe it's confusion. I believe it's discouragement. I command it to go. This is what I heard. Um, I heard the scripture, forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. And it comes from Psalm 119, verse 89. Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Your faithfulness endures to all generations. You establish the earth and it abides. And I want you to know, surely, no matter how many, 71 years young, what if the age is irrelevant to God? We're, I mean, in in this in the context of eternity, it's 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 nothing, isn't it? So that means that God still has while while there's still breath in your lungs, He has a plan and a purpose for you in this life. In the name of Jesus, I speak over you. I speak from the courts of heaven. I hear a divine decree has been released over you, Shirley, in Jesus' mighty name, uh, that that He is faithful. And the attacks of the enemy shall cease now. I command discouragement to go in Jesus' name. And that it has been settled in the courts of heaven for you, Shirley. Reach up and receive by faith your vindication and your repayment and your recompense for what the enemy has stolen from you in this season. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. All right. Let me just check. With, so, Susan, we're going to move on to pray for Susan. And then... Um, uh, there is another, I don't know if he's still here, Pandu from India. We, we can pray for, we can pray for you. Hello, Carmen. Good morning. Um, lots of love. I'm just checking up. It takes a little while to refresh the feed. And if I miss some comments, apologies, we're doing the very best that we can. God bless you. But let's lift up Susan. Susan's from Chicago. Also a part of our Overcoming Fear course, ladies. She would like prayer for healing from sciatic. Cy Sciatic arthritis. I'm assuming that it's the sciatic nerve. And it's not sciatic, it's sciatic. Yes. Apologies. I'm, I used to be a biology teacher. I should technically know what that is, but hey, it's arthritis, it's inflammation, and we're going to take authority over it in the name of Jesus. Someone who feels they need to pray right now for Susan, go right ahead. 
I come against the spirit of infirmity and arthritis right now. This erratic arthritis has to bow. Every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And Lord Jesus, you died on the cross but you, for our salvation, but you also went to hell carrying our, all our sin and diseases. And I just bring this before you, Lord Jesus, and I pray for complete healing in Jesus' now. Yeah, Spirits of arthritis, you have to bow your knee to Jesus. Yes. Go in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And um, Susan, I just heard the Lord speak. It was from the story in John um, 11 where Jesus uh, resurrected Lazarus from the dead. Whoa, I feel the glory of God on this. Oh, help me, Holy Spirit. I hear, the, I hear Jesus saying, loose her and let her go. Now, Susan, I want you to imagine if, if, if this, I was Jesus. If I was Jesus right now. If you met Jesus right now and he had his hand on you and he said, loose her and let her go. About how long would it take you to be healed? Yeah. Receive that. Amen. That's how long. It's done. In the name of Jesus, receive it. We bless your body, Susan, in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Um, just seeing if, if they're still here. If you're still here. Uh, uh, look, if, if you st just because we're, our time is limited. Um, Pandu from India, if you're still here, drop us another comment. We'll pray for you. Pastor Marco from India, if you're still here, drop me a fresh comment. Um, otherwise, we will move to... Um, yeah, uh, I'm just having a look. I'm just refreshing the feed. Mum, someone else off our list, and then I'm just seeing if those people are still here and still asking for prayer. Oh, I feel the glory of God. The glory is here right now, guys. Just <laughs> reach up, press into it by faith. Oh. oh, I can barely sit up. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Who's next, Mum? Uh, Annette Lawson. I don't know where she is from. Uh, she hasn't given a specific uh request she simply has asked for prayer okay yeah um hang on was that in relation was she the one that has saw the, the 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 thing with steph on friday uh sorry naomi i can't remember no that's right i think she was i think she had seen so we were talking about overcoming spiritual opposition so um holy spirit just come right now and speak to, to each one of us and, and whichever one of you right now is sensing and discerning in your spirit, there's a, there's a spiritual attack that is Annette, her name. So Annette is under spiritual attack. We need to identify the main spirit and command it to go. So Holy Spirit, thank you. Come right now. Reveal in Jesus' name. Actually get unbelief. Yep. Um, and I'm mindful of the time where the father of the son who had was, um, well, it was epilepsy, where the son would be taken in a fit and even roll into the fire. And the Lord said to him, if you have faith, and uh, it will be done unto you. And he said, Lord, I have faith. Help thou mine unbelief. Amen. And the child was healed. Okay. So, uh, I, I, so when I say a spirit of unbelief, don't feel like uh, uh, that's a condemnatory thing. It's just something you need to confess to the Lord. Lord, I believe, help thou mine unbelief. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Shakarabasukurabahashun. Yes, just receive that, Annette, by faith. In the name of Jesus, just reach out and receive faith. Faith is a gift. We don't have to go, oh, where's my faith? You get given faith and everyone, Romans 12, 3 tells us that each one has been given a measure of faith. So you have faith, just stir up the faith within you and reach for that faith that you need to overcome unbelief. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke a spirit of fear. Go now. Fear and unbelief go together. I just command them to go. And they can take all their cohorts and minions with them in Jesus' mighty name. Speak peace over your mind. 
peace over your mind in Jesus' name. All right, I'm just looking to refresh the feed to see if there are any who had commented and asked for prayer but may not have stuck around. So if you don't stick around, guys, you don't get the prayer. We have to be a bit, uh, yeah, careful with our time. So I'm just waiting to see if there are any who are still here. If you're still here and you want prayer, um, please let us know. Um, otherwise, Mum, let's move on to the... Uh, sorry, just give me a moment. I'm just checking the time. We've been live for about 35 minutes, so we only have another 10 minutes. If you want prayer, you need to let us know now uh, and stay for the prayer so that we see you and that we acknowledge your name so that we know you know that we're going to be praying for you, okay? Just 10 more minutes. Mum, who's next on our prayer list? Um... Priya, I, I'm just asking the Lord which one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Priya Mondal yeah. uh, and uh, uh, Priya saw uh, a live Facebook you had with and his. Oh, she's the one that saw the one with Steph, yes. Yeah. And she just asked, please could you pray for her? Yeah, sure. I, 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 um, uh, Priya, I'm sensing there's been a lying spirit that's come against you through a personal friend, someone close to you. Spirit of wisdom, spirit of revelation, reveal to Priya right now in the name of Jesus where this has come from. Get a spirit of wisdom. Give her the wisdom and the discernment to know what to do with this particular friend. I just encourage you, Priya, to just um, uh, speak forgiveness over in, in the secret place of prayer. Speak forgiveness over that person. Release that person. Renounce anything they've said. All right. And in the name of Jesus, I bind that lying spirit and I command it to be silent in the name of Jesus. I believe it's lying to you about your destiny. I believe this might be a friend. I think there's something that you're wanting to do and step out in faith. And you've literally got a friend and I feel they're close and they're telling you, no, don't, you know, that's not a great idea. I just break and bind that lie in the name of Jesus. And I, I ask for the fire of God on that demonic assignment to be exposed right now in Jesus' name. And Lord, just bring exposure and Priya, you're going to know what to do because he is going to seal up your instruction in your night season. There will be dreams that will be coming to you and he's going to give you literally the wisdom and the next step. So just, just be in peace. Be at peace, daughter, in Jesus' mighty name. All right, I'm just looking to see if there's anyone still here who wants prayer. Like I'm all, I just need to look for the more recent comments. It's tricky to keep up with this, guys. Thank you for all your interaction. Thank you for the support of this ministry and for supporting us. God bless you. Um, we love um, we love seeing you on here. We love praying for you. Now, I don't think so. I think they, they may have popped off. We do still have people watching, so let's continue in prayer. Who is our next um, person on the list, Mum? Uh, Justin Dunia. And Justin needs a job. I do have a scripture for him. I just need to find it. If anyone else has anything for Justin, go right ahead. Yeah, I just I just read this. Um, Justin, I, I I really have a sense that, and and I know you're in I know you're in a difficult circumstance right now. But there's a real invitation from the Father to get your eyes off your circumstances, off fear, off worry, off doubt, and off looking to man to be your solution. Psalm 60 verse 11 and 12, and I'm going to release this over you. Give us help from trouble. This is you, your heart cry to God. Give, let's make it personal. Justin, say this after me. God, give me help from trouble. For the help of man is useless. 
It's through you, God, that I will do valiantly for it is you who have tread down my enemies in the name of Jesus. Decree that lack of financial provision, a lack of a job, just lack in general is under your feet in the mighty name of Jesus. Press into the favor of God for you that surrounds you like a shield. Praise him in the circumstances. Praise him and break your agreement with fear, doubt, unbelief, and worry in Jesus' name. He is pouring into you right now. Just reach up and receive it now by faith, Justin, in Jesus' mighty name. Everything give thanks. Mum, can we pray for Stephen Dickerson? He's really been on my heart for a week now. He's on he's on the list somewhere. I know I know he's not tuning in right now, but I will tag him. Do you just want to share what he's shared? Um, Stephen has had an ongoing spirit of heaviness, so that's been with him for some years, but it's become even more overpowering since the passing of his wife. Now, he didn't indicate how long it is since his wife died, but, uh, yeah, a real heaviness there. And mm -hmm. Stephen's just looking for some release. Yeah, hallelujah. Oh, yeah, I just I just feel that. Jill, I can see you feeling it, feeling that as well. Shiki ama haso eba hashi eba haso kore eba hashun. Sho kore eba hasi eba hashun. Ye eba hashu kore eba hasun. Si ama hashu kore eba hasun. I just speak to that spirit of grief in the name of Jesus. Grief is, grief is no grief is grief is for a season. Grief. There's nothing wrong with feeling what you feel, Stephen. I just break that condemnation off you because I know you're a man of God. I know you're a minister break the condemnation off you but i speak to that spirit of grief that unhealthy spirit of grief and heaviness and i command it to go right now in the name of jesus you loose him and let him go shake off those grave clothes like it was like lazarus had to shake it. so lazarus came to life you're alive in christ stephen you are alive in christ you're a man of god but I see you bound and hobbling with those grave clothes that um, Lazarus was bound with. And so I command, uh, I command that spirit of grief to go. I command it to loose you and let you go. And I also call in the people in your life. You're going to need people to come close to you because when Lazarus came out of the tomb and he was bound, Jesus had to say to people around him, Basically, it wasn't just loose him and let him go spiritually. He had to say to people, go and unwrap him so that he is not. So you need people around you. I call in, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy and call in people close to you who can come in and unwrap that bondage of grief from around you and particularly around your mouth. They, they were bound in those days. They would bind the jaw really tightly because the mouth would fall in death from, you know, they'd have to bind it. And I feel that there's been a real tight bondage around your mouth to stop you from speaking. And I break that now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I command your mouth to be loosed and open. In Jesus' name, and the Lord is saying, open your mouth wide, son. Open your mouth wide, Stephen, and I will fill it. In Jesus' mighty name, those people are coming in. I want to hear the testimony. Stephen, we want to hear the testimony of the people that God's bringing into your life. Oh, I even hear three weeks. Lord, let it be so. Let it be done. In Jesus' mighty name, that you are going to discern people coming in to help unwrap you. In Jesus' mighty name, loose him and let him go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just pray now that the Holy Spirit will comfort you in your time of grief. Grief is a small, is a short time, and I just really pray that you that that you will allow Him to surround you and to cover you like a blanket. Yes. And just praise God. Give God praise. Give God praise. This is a season you're going through, and I'm praying that it will be lifted. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I just thank you for the extra angels you have sent out right now to minister to Stephen. I thank you. I see them uh, uh, wing to wing around him right now. And especially 
when he hears this message, when he hears the prayers, I ask you, Father God, that he will actually sense the angels about him, actually physically sense the angels covering him and protecting him from all the fiery darts of the enemy. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right, we've just about reached our time, folks, and as we haven't had any fresh um fresh you know i know there were other people asking for prayer but as we said we've got a our time is limited and um yeah we need to go with people who are who are staying for the broadcast and tuning in for their prayer so we pray this has really deeply blessed you once i share this um broadcast uh, once we've gone off the air um i will share details for you to contact us i'll share, share the contact link for the website really really easy way to let us know your prayer requests um, or um, my ministry email which my mother reads and collates um, if we haven't got to you today um look we we are, we're yielded vessels and we we um we follow the leading of the holy spirit and go with the prayer requests we feel are the most pertinent but um, please don't be offended if we haven't got to your prayer request today. You matter to God. You're the apple of his eye and um, we're, we're following his leading. So be blessed in Christ in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you to Jill. Thank you to my mum, Susan, for joining in today, uh, for the blessing that this has been to release prayer um, over you guys. Um, I am going to be going live on Friday. Just letting you know, I'm going to be going live on Friday with um, a live interpreting your dreams session. So watch out for that. Um, my previously advertised um, session with Mandy Woodhouse is the following um, following Friday. So this Friday, 5 p.m. Brisbane time, I'll be doing a live Q&A with um, dream, basic dream interpretation. So if you've got dreams and you need an interpretation, let's just get on and see how we go with that. Should be exciting. Uh, but my time is limited there. So uh, just be ready with with what what you uh what you have be ready to go okay god bless you and keep you in this day um I, I just encourage you no matter what the circumstances are don't forget no matter how dark it looks you can dream big with god god bless you in this day love each and every one of you and we'll see you for prayer next week okay bye bye bless you all right looks like we are off i'm just going to stop the recording